Hello everyone, so happy to have you here today. This is my channel Heart and Hobby and I'm Anna. I'm super excited because today I am going to be showing you a quick easy plant drawing sketch. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. I love it when you guys subscribe. I'm going to be releasing so much fun content including videos of me drawing. I do bullet journal videos, unbagging videos for Ipsy. I also upload videos on what it's like being a stay-at-home mom with a newborn baby at home which is exhausting but so many different things to share with you i've learned so much over these five months already and also videos of just you know crazy things that i do in my life like for instance i recently dyed my hair platinum blonde and it went horrible that video is going to be going up shortly i'm going to show you what happened when you use a box dye at home but today i'm just going to be showing you a quick fun little doodle that i did i drew this after my baby fell asleep um, for the evening and so I thought it was really fun just to kind of take the time and draw you know like a little sketch and take a few minutes for me it can be really hard um, in today's world to really find time to enjoy our hobbies if we aren't actively pursuing them so you really have to dedicate moments where you can take time for yourself take deep breaths pour yourself a glass of wine or a cup of tea maybe some coffee whatever it is that's going to make you feel good and kind of reconnect and collect your thoughts and just spend time on your own so that's what i was doing here when i was drawing this and i really love drawing it gives me time to just kind of take deep breaths, um, breathe. I kind of think about all the different things that I have going on in my life. You know, if I need to work through some things or if I'm thinking about projects, drawing really kind of lets me just let my brain wander and I'm able to really use my hands and just kind of work in a quiet, calm space. So with this doodle, I kind of came up with the idea of like looking through um, the windows of a greenhouse. And so I'm drawing all these plants that are coming out of the corners of the, um, of the page, basically like you're kind of walking through towards the window. So as you can see here, I'm just kind of drawing these plants and sketching them in. I, I really like to draw just with pen. I really don't like sketching with pencil first if I can help it. I just find that it kind of forces me to be as precise as possible on the first try. And it also makes me work through any errors or mistakes that I make without the ability to erase them. So I really enjoy drawing with pen. It's actually one of my favorite ways to draw and really like just experiment. So enjoy this for the next couple of minutes. I'll jump back on when I get into drawing the windows. precise as possible and I used my favorite little ruler to draw the lines for the windows. This was a little bit more complicated than I anticipated because I had drawn the plants first and you really have to be careful when you're drawing the window pane um, that you don't overdraw the lines onto the plants because it kind of messes up the illusion of the plants overlapping in front of the window. So I took my time and I really carefully drew each of the little wooden window pane um, segments and here you can see I'm just outlining each one so you can see that this image is starting to come a little bit clearer with what my intention was for the drawing now I'm just going through and I'm just making really slight little lines to give the effect of kind of like a shadow or a color on the window pane and just super simple and so I carry on doing that this took me a few minutes but it is kind of fun to do a really repetitive um, marking when you're drawing because it really like practices your precision and your skill and really makes you focus on some really fine details
I didn't think that this drawing was quite done being left just black and white. I did like it. I think it's kind of a cool style, but I thought it'd be fun to fill in the glass window panes with my blue tomboy, br tomboy brush. I um, really enjoy using these types of brushes. They're kind of like a watercolor pen and I really love it. They're really easy to draw with. They keep really clean lines and you can overlap them and kind of give a little bit more depth if you want to the um, color. So I really enjoy just like working with them and coloring in this piece. So you can see here, I'm coloring the window panes blue and I really wanted to do an effect to make it look like it was raining outside, but I couldn't kind of figure out how to do it. And so, and I kept having to take breaks because the baby was um, a little bit unsettled when I put him to bed. And so I had to go back and kind of soothe him. But I thought this was really pretty and a really unique little piece just to kind of um, take my time and doodle one evening. It was really fun. And I actually really love uh, this piece because I ended up giving it to my downstairs neighbor who um, she said it, it was going to work perfectly in their guest bathroom because their guest bathroom was aqua so, aqua, so that made me really happy. So I really enjoyed it dra drawing this and doodling it. This gave me a really fun way to just kind of relax for the evening. I hope that you guys are able to find fun ways to relax and take time for yourselves and just, you know, take a deep breath, enjoy your coffee or your tea or glass of wine and think about everything you've got going on in your, in your life in a really calm and deep, thoughtful way. And, you know, or maybe just kind of meditate and don't think about anything, you know, let your brain relax and just kind of have fun. I know this world is really crazy and sometimes we all just need to take a minute for ourselves because when you can really focus on taking care of yourself, I really believe that's when you can show up the best for others and, and really give others what they need. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I love making these things for you. I hope you have a great day and I will be back soon.